Hi, this is Eric Robertson, your state representative, coming to you from Olympia today. It's budget time here in Olympia, where the transportation, capital, and operating budgets are being introduced and debated. The transportation budget did not see the recovery that the operating budget saw, principally due to people not driving during this year-long pandemic. The capital budget came out as well. It's $5.7 billion. $3.5 billion of that's going to be in bonds and another $2.2 billion in federal and other funds. But we got some great local projects that were asked for for the 31st District, including the Rainier View Park improvements in Sumner, the Foothills Historical Society Heritage Center in Buckley, the Reynolds Farm and Indian Agency Preservation on the Muckleshoot Nation in Auburn, and important flood control funds for the Valley in North Sumner. In the operating budget, we saw the financial situation recover quite a bit since last year. The revenue forecast shows a $3.29 billion increase over the next four years. That's really good news, and that means our economy is recovering, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But we also get an influx of federal dollars, $4.2 billion for the state, $2.6 billion for local governments, and those can be used all the way through December 31st of 2024, so there's a lot of flexibility there. In addition to those, there was $1.85 billion for K-12 education, $1 billion to help with transit, and $655 million for higher ed, and another $404 million of important rental assistance. So we're looking at all of these and how to best invest them to help the people of the state of Washington. But it really points out something very important that we've talked about for a bit, and that is there's no need for new taxes. With the windfall from the federal government, which was totally unexpected, as well as a great new revenue forecast for the next four years, taxes are not needed. But unfortunately, the Democrats here in Olympia are proposing just that. As an example, the Senate Democrat budget that just came out yesterday totally sweeps the rainy day fund and also includes the horrible capital gains income tax to fund our operations in Washington state. It's just not needed. And then of course, transportation budget, which I've been working on for several months now. The base budget just came out here this last week. We voted it out of committee. This just funds the agencies and such and does not have any new revenue increases in it. There's going to be another second capital projects transportation budget that's going to be coming out next week. We're anxiously awaiting that. There's important projects all over the state, but we've got to see how those projects are funded first as to whether it's something that I can vote for. We're also addressing the Supreme Court's Blake decision. That's the decision here just a bit ago where they essentially legalized possession of a controlled substance. I'm proud to say that I'm a co-sponsor of five bills to address that decision, reestablishing the criminal offenses, providing drug treatment alternatives, as well as some behavioral health assistance. So as you can see, it's a busy time down here in Olympia. We've got some policy issues that we need to wrap up here in the next week or two. And then the remaining month until we end session on April 25th is going to be really focused on refining and directing funds in the operating capital and transportation budgets. As always, I'd love to hear from you. You can contact me at my office in Olympia, as well as by email. I read the emails every day. And if you want regular updates as the session continues on, you can go to my website and sign up for the newsletter. We'll just drop a update into your email box about every week or two. And that way you can keep up to date on what's going on in Olympia and some of the challenges that we're facing and solutions that we're proposing on your behalf. Again, I'm Eric Robertson. Thank you. It's an honor to serve you.